In this presentation we're going to look at binary search trees and in particular important terminology related to binary search trees. So uh, here's a list of the things we're going to look at. We're going to look at a node or a vertex as it's also called, a key or a record number, the root, levels and height, parent and child, descendant and ancestor, subtrees and end vertices. Here's a representation of a binary search tree. The vertices are known in programming as nodes. So I'm going to call this a node. Vertex is an equivalent terminology that comes from graph theory, but in computer program we would call these nodes. Both, both phrases are good. Also you notice that each of these are numbered. So this is key, this uh, this number here represents is one, it sort of says this this is node one node 3, node 7, and so on. So these are the record numbers or the keys of each node. You know, you notice that they uh, go in, uh, the numbers go in ascending order from left to right rather than top to bottom. That's an important point and I'm going to come back to that in another presentation. The next thing we're going to look at is root, the root levels and height. The root is the top vertex, uh, the top node, and it is used to represent the start of a process. So this is the root, and it's at level zero. We call that a level zero. These two uh, vertices, our nodes, are at level one. And these are level 2, and these are at level 3. These uh, nodes are at level 3. The height is the maximum number of levels. So the height of this uh, binary search tree is 3 because we have uh, it goes down to level 3. So height equals 3 as in the maximum number of levels. Now we're going to look at parents and children and descendants and ancestors. Well we can see here, I'll take for example 3, that 3 is a parent of 1 and 5. So 3 is a parent of 1 and 5. And conversely, that means that 1 and 5 are children of 3. Okay. Now, the, we could sort of uh, expand this uh, notion a bit further. So we could sort of say that 7, this, the node, is an ancestor of 13. where you have uh, 7 and 11 and 13, but uh, we would say com uh, equally that 13 is a descendant of 7. In fact, everything is a descendant of 7 because it's the root. Next we're going to look at subtrees and also end vertices. Let's look at uh, node 7. Node 7 has two subtrees. The first subtree is the left subtree, which is all of these parts here, which is the child of 7, which in this case is 3, and all descendants of 3. So this is the, we call this the left subtree. Equally, we would have the right subtree as well, which we would have on from starting with node 11, all ancestors, or sorry, all descendants of node 11, and there we have them there, and we would have the right subtree. Okay, lastly, we're going to look at the end vertices. End vertices are the 
nodes that have no children. So all of these nodes down here are, are end vertices. They have no children. Okay. We would also call them external nodes.